Karen, a pejorative slang term for obnoxious, angry, entitled, and often racist middle-aged white women who use their privilege to demand their way at the expense of others. Urban Dictionary. He didn't even have your phone. Dude, I, I get, get it. it. Enough. <laughs> Hi, I'm Karen. Hi, my name is Karen. Hi, I'm Karen. Hi, I'm Karen. Now, Karens, you know that Karen has become a pejorative term for some reason. How does that make you feel? When that first meme came out mm. and it said it was like the, you know, call your manager, yeah. that I thought was funny. Because I am that. My kids sent it to me right away. They're like, oh my gosh, mom, look at this. <laughs> and it became not funny really quickly. So. It started out with Dan Cook saying, like, your, your worst friend in your friend group is Karen. And oh, that yeah. was in 2014. And it was in a stand up thing. Then it became like Karen's, you know, calling the cops. But call it what it is. If the action is racist, don't put a label on it. Don't put a name on it. Don't well, put think, Karen on it. I think the right. point is, though, right. with all the videos that have come out, is how commonplace this behavior is among certain white women. I'm just saying, like, I think it should be stopped. <laughs> when Amy Cooper pulled her horrific stunt, I was like, okay, you know, now it should be Amy's. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I mean, sorry to Amy's, but I was like, yeah. she just trumped every Karen there ever was. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I have two good okay. friends named Amy, though, but yeah. I find it offending because her name isn't Karen, right? So yeah. now we're being racist. Think about it, right? Now we're classifying all Karens are gonna be like her. That's not true. It's sexist and it's ageist, but I feel like it's a small sacrifice to make for racial justice, so. You're but, a Karen for the cause. Yes. I got it. Like, I grew up in multicultural settings, mm. which I think does help, plus I've traveled a lot. And, you know, I've, I'm half Jewish and half Wasp, which turns out to be a quarter Norwegian. And, mm -hmm. you know, when you, and then I'm descended from the Pygmies. I'm what actually 1.5% Pygmy. You know, if you really look at your DNA, DNA. We're all a mix of everything, and we all came from Africa. We all came so, from Africa. Right. Do you think Karen's lives matter? I Never. think <laughs> that Karen's lives matter because if Karen's lives don't matter, mm. no lives matter. I don't disagree with what you said, but um, I don't think you need to say that Karen lives matter. Most Karens are good people. You know, have I called a manager because something wasn't right? Maybe a handful of times, but like well, I said. Tell me the last time you called the manager. Um, probably because, you know, it took a really long time to sit down to eat. And I've called managers to tell them what a great job yeah. people are doing. Oh. My husband and I, we actually kind of like mess with the people. Like if we have a server, they'll come over, we'll be like, oh, is your manager here? And you see them sweat it out. They'll get all nervous. They're like, oh my gosh, why do they want to talk Twisted to my manager? Care. Right? And then the manager comes <laughs> over and we'll turn around and say, oh my gosh, this one has been wonderful. So. I love that. There are good Karens out there. Wow. Wow. And you heard it here. All right, so some people maybe don't love the name Karen, but some people are Karen and proud. And we actually have tattoos for those who are Karen and proud. Oh. I think we should all do it. Karen and proud. Yes, Karen and proud. If we could do anything as the four Karens here, right, what we should do is <laughs> put it out there. Let's be kind to one another. Mm -hmm. Let's. Before we act, let's think, right? Wait, is that a good idea to call the police? Karen and Proud on three. One, two, three. Karen, Karen and Proud!